top five metaverse picks. Let's get it. 2022 will be the biggest year for the metaverse so far. We need to find a way to get involved as well. One thing I want to say before we start this video, this is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence. I'm also going to say, I hate when people tell me to do my own due diligence. Like what, what does that even mean? Hit the like and subscribe button. We will do another video exactly detailing out what doing your own due diligence means and how we can be super confident in the investments that we are making. All right. But we've, and then also before we start, let's talk about something really important. Let's talk about scale, okay? We need to understand what the market opportunity here is, okay? Apple, worth $2.8 trillion. Meta, formerly known as Facebook, worth $925 billion. Activisions, Activision, the guys that brought you Call of Duty, worth $50 billion. Roblox, you know, they're a gaming platform that kind of has their own metaverse, if you want to call it that, $50 billion. Let's go a, a scale smaller. EA, Electric Electronic Arts, you know, Madden, 2K, $35 billion. Unity, this is a gaming engine that brought you games such as Among Us, $35 billion. Just remember these numbers, we're going to talk about this later. We'll, this will come later. Now, the global stock market, all stocks in the world, $95 trillion. In gold, $12 trillion. And when we look at cryptocurrency, all of cryptocurrency, it's only $2 trillion compared to all stocks in the world. Bitcoin, you know, they say it's, it's somewhere you store your, 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 your money, similar to gold, $820 billion. What I'm trying to get at is, these numbers are still super low compared to everything. And there's still a lot of opportunity for growth, a lot, a lot, a lot, especially as we all move from a, you know, to a decentralized Web 3.0 um, community. All right, now let's start the video now. Number one, we got Engine. Engine is an end-to-end -end solution that allows you to create platform projects and experiences that make using NFT effortless for everyone. They have a platform, like I mentioned, where they create NFTs that allows you to bring your NFTs to life. This is similar to Engine that I mentioned earlier, $50 billion company that helps different platforms create um, a lot of, they create NFTs, integrate all this into their gaming, um, create play to earn games. So they have a platform that they've created wallets where you can create, make your crypto and NFT safe. They've created a marketplace where you can trade your NFTs. And if they have engine powered play to earn games where you can earn NFTs as well. This is a $2.1 billion um, market cap today. But let's look at their website really quick because they have some pretty cool stuff. Okay, so they're, they're saying it's an easy way to explore the metaverse. What excites me the most is, you know, they're, yes, they're helping all these uh, platforms create a virtual economy using NFTs and all that. But once you look at their play to earn games, they've got some pretty cool partnerships. You know, they've had um, a partnership with Microsoft where they're helping Microsoft create a, a play to earn game as well. And they have a bunch of other games that you can probably that you can get on and play today. Um, so this is really one to look out for. Today is trading at two dollars and fifty cents. In the past, it's gone up as high as four dollars and sixty cents. It's obviously gone down with the global, with the with the broader market. But you know, once this makes a rebound, this is going to be a good play not to keep you know for flipping soon, but a longer term play that could get to the heights of Unity, for example. Awesome. Let's look at number two on the list. Number two, we have Luvium. This one is probably one of my favorite projects as well. It's an open world RPG adventure game built on the Ethereum blockchain. It's trading today at $550 million market cap, about $8.5 billion fully diluted. When you think about this, think about Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity is a super popular game right now. Um, similar to them, these guys have these, small, these little creatures called Illuvials that populate these, this alien world. And each of them possesses a different class, a different ability, and they are NFTs. So you go capture them, and you go into this you know, Illuvium's metaverse, and you go battle them. You go... You go play play to earn. You go try to earn um, their token as well, and it's a, and they have a community based governance as well. Um, one cool thing is that they're integrating with Imputable X, which pretty much allows them to have near zero gas fees. Because as you know, Ethereum has some ridiculously high gas fees that just almost makes it not even worth it to like mess around with it. But this year makes play to earn trading peer to peer trading so much better. Um, they're gonna open beta very soon, giving people access to land. Um, and much, much more soon. Um, looking at the website, these have some incredible, incredible um, graphics. I really like what they've created. I recently saw a video out about what the creator, um, you know, some, some gameplay that the creator released. And this is something that I really want to cover a lot more in detail moving forward. You know, in the past, their prices reached almost $2,000.
think it's trading at $800, 850 So if you ask me, that's almost a steal because you can also stake this and get some really high, high rewards. Um, that's all I got there, but this is something def we're going to definitely talk about in the future. Next on the list, we have Avigachi. This right here, think of it as a DeFi play, decentralized finance. It is a block ba blockchain-based game that uses DeFi protocols for staking and NFTs. It is on Polygon. It's $146 million market cap today. And you have playable NFTs that act as interest-generating piggy banks created by staking DeFi tokens directly into the NFT. Users can sell, buy, and upgrade their gachi while earning tokens um, and interest-based activities for their activities in staking. Think of it like Tamagotchi. This is a game you guys might have known when you were younger. Um, you have these little creatures and you're able to play with them, you're able to hatch, you're able to, uh, to, uh, to make them work together. But the main idea here is that they are there to make you money as well at the same time. Um, and each one does have different attributes as well, but there's energy, aggression, brain size, eye color. Um, looking at their... Um, so you want to check out the website. This is a really cool opportunity as well here to um, not only get money as the price goes up, but to stake and get rewards that way as well. Today they're at about two dollars and twenty three cents. They've come down obviously um, from highs of you know about two fifty, and you know the whole market has come down. This is just a good opportunity for us to get in at a cheaper price as well. Now this is as I mentioned one hundred fifty million dollar opportunity. I didn't want to throw in a bonus one in there. Um, that's worth a lot less. It's only two million dollars today, so the potential for growth is also a lot higher. Yes, there is. A little typo here it says virtual it's supposed to say virtual but this is the virtual pet metaverse platform on the ethereum net network as well um the idea here is you know meta metagachi similar to tamagachi it allows you to mint these nfts that hatch into eggs and you have these little creatures that you can train um that you can play with to level up and breed them with others as well um you collect these tokens um, and you receive, you know, t rewards as I mentioned. You're able to participate in training games, level it, level it up. Um, this is still very, very early stage. They still have a lot of growth to do. But check out their website. They've done, they've made some pretty cool progress. They have a white paper that you should definitely check out as well. Look into like what they're, um, what what they're planning to create with their metaverse. Um, and one thing I, I appreciate is that the the price, the, it's it's been kind of stabilizing a little bit. I think people are seeing the potential and they're holding on to it. They're not selling. That's one thing I do appreciate is that the, we're not seeing the price tank. I like, guess probably some of the earlier folks here got in and got out, um, but we're seeing it now starting to stabilize a little bit around this price area. So it is something to look at. Take a look at it. Now, I know I mentioned that Illuvium was my favorite project. This is probably also up there. This is called Inuyasha. When I first heard about Inuyasha, I thought it was some, you know, some meme token that was, you know, it was just based off hype. But since then, I've been tracking this for a while now, and I've honestly made a lot of money on this. It is a community-driven incubator and launchpad. They have created, a, they've worked with a lot of projects. They've incubated and launched out, out of their community. And I absolutely love what they've done. They've, they've created, it's this really cool DAO, it's a decentralized platform. You go check out their Twitter, go check out their Telegram. Um, they have hand-picked projects that go through this really cool vetting system to verify that, you know, it's not a rug pull, that this is something that, that's legit, backed by real legit people um, doing real legit stuff. One cool one that I thought, you know, related to the metaverse was Guzzler. This is a customizable. They're creating customizable and operable NFTs for cars. If you like cars like me, it allows you to have, you know, wheels has NFTs, body kits, performance, all of this is NFTs with the, you know, the idea is in the future you can drive, um, your car out in the metaverse and so forth. And I know I keep saying metaverse, like we're still super far out from the, the idea of what a metaverse is, but this is something to keep track. It's only a $25 million market cap today. And if we look at the stock price, this thing is just, it's its its not going down that much. Why? Because, because people need to hold this token. You need to hold this token in order to get access to um, these incubated projects as well. These projects are you, you're able to get pre pre sale access to it, and once you 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 get these, these access to it at a very low price, and the price just skyrockets. And this is something like you've seen people keep holding this token because they want to keep getting access to their projects. This is not something I see going down at all. It's going to continue to keep going up, especially as it gets more popular and more people learn about it. All right, last one on the list today we have is called Sin City. You loved Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto growing up, GTA. This is bringing GTA style gaming to the blockchain. It's a highly social or highly 
social oriented platform where you can build clubs for your friends to hang out, venues for online events, or even compete in underworld activities to win in-game rewards. So the idea here is that you become, you conquer and control the city and you become the ultimate kingpin. Recently they released um, land as NFTs that they sold. They sold out in two hours for land worth $3.5 million. These plots of land are, you know, they're, they're distributed across 17 districts. Each district has its own ba um, background story, its own, you know, whether it has high security, low security, whether it's up and coming area or or not. So, you know, is it an area with, you know, fashion, economics, whatever it is, this is something also that's pretty interesting as well. This might be one of the bigger, next bigger ones um, when you think about like, you know, Sandbox and Decentraland because they are starting to release um, land. Um, and it's interesting. You, you, you're able to also stake in it as well. Um, and check out their website. They have, it's a pretty cool gameplay. I think this game might resonate with a lot of people that play Grand Theft Auto um, growing up or even now. Their stock, their price has, you know, dipped down. Their token price has dipped down. But, you know, all of the market has. So we'll, we might see it come back up. Um, but something to keep in mind. That's all I got for you folks today. If any of these sound interesting, let me know. I'm going to probably release a video out in more detail about one of them. And as I mentioned, a video on how to do your own due diligence. Because what does that mean? All right, and that's all for now. Thank you, everything meta.